Hello there everyone, welcome back to a brand new character, the gardener. He gardens. Uh, you start with one garden, 20% chance of picking up a consumable to summon a carnivorous plant, shoots thorns at enemies, dealing three harvesting damage but dies after seven seconds, 15% chance to summon a consumable when picking up a consumable to summon a tier two plant, um, seeds hitting enemies create one homing. Um, to tier three plant, tier four plant, more luck, uh, less damage, less attack speed, lots more enemy damage. Engineering ain't happening. We're going to play as this boy. Huh? Oh, right. I was about to say, why are there two gardens? Uh, yeah, the weapon you chose. It, it's a garden. So. You know. That's why. Where's my, where's my guys? I just summoned. Where are they? Okay. Um. Maybe. There's a part of me that thinks that I should... Uh, there's a part of me that thinks I should just take lungs, but I, I think I'm going to go with speed. Ooh, staff of summoning insects. New item. Ooh, tree. I like tree. Hold on. What? How do the percentages? 20, 15, 10, 5, so... Like, 80% chance to summon something? Uh... Excuse me? Did I miss reading something and only one can exist at any given time? I, I guess I have to reread that. Um, you have to go with luck right there. Yeah, 20, 15. No, that's a 40% chance of something happening. Um, But that was uh, pretty ridiculous that we managed to miss the roll that many times in a row. They scale off of harvesting, so we probably want to take this. But. I hate everything. This game sucks. <laughs> Man! What if there's a way to, like, increase the odds? Probably not. There's probably not a way to increase the odds. But I'd like there to be. I like summoning things. I guess one of the ways to increase the odds is to excuse... Oh, okay. I was about to say, how did I just summon three things at once? I know har I know attack speed is reduced, but I don't think it's going to be a problem to have more attack speed. I'll take that. I will take it. Gives me a chance. Like, yeah, food's worse, but it gives me some base. Oh, I can double roll on a single item? Okay. Um, so I definitely, definitely want, um, the produce more, the, the improved tools. Improved tools is going to be really, really important. Um, pickup radius is going to be really important. Knockback is going to be really important. I don't think he has damage down, so he does. I I don't really have a problem with this, but it's really annoying because I can't see, like, all the stats. So, let's just go some more harvesting. Got a little bit more luck, I guess. 
Like, because it's cool that he has, like, a lot of things. Like, there's a lot of information. Yeah, 35% damage. Um, that probably was worth taking, then. I probably kind of, like, jumped the gun a little bit. On not taking the damage. Oh, well. Because this doesn't seem, like, that reliable. And maybe this character isn't even supposed to have these as weapons. Like, maybe I should have chose a different weapon. I chose them because I figured this would be a weapon that the character would start with. Uh, but I still have the all the weapons mod. So I didn't actually, like, properly see if this is what he should or shouldn't have. But I also figured it wasn't really going to hurt if I just chose this because I could still show off the character. Having some wild things, that HP is huge. Oh yeah, I have the dodge from the bee. I was about to say, where the heck did I get dodge from? Um, I don't I don't think the little spirit guy is gonna be worth taking. We're not gonna be leaning into Uh we're really not gonna be leaning into elemental damage. We're gonna wanna lean into harvesting as much as we can. Because then we'll, you know, have more damage on the, the summons. And we'll have more money. And having money is good. I like money. But I, I am going to get to the point where, like, we're just going to deal no damage. I got to be, you know, aware of that. It's going to come up real quick. Damage. I think I'm going to go with the dodge. I think dodge is going to be really important. Um. I think community support got nerfed into oblivion. Am I correct about that? Was it always plus 1%? I'm just going to pretend it didn't get nerfed. Yeah, like this... You know, I can still take it. It's not like I can't take this item. Like, I don't know. I'll take it. It'll be a scaling item. Uh, because we're going to be obviously having... Woo, baby! That was beautiful. Um, yeah, because we're going to be having harvesting anyway. And it does it is going to lower how many gardens I have, but I don't know. I mean, it shouldn't really be that big of a problem. And this character may not even be able to start with the, these as an item. I just didn't bother looking because I frankly don't care. The regen... Take the bow. Um, yeah, wings. Wings will be good. Wings will be good. Give us that extra speed. So I think this bow could scale, like, really good for us. Now, we do have to be getting harvesting. You know, keep in mind, we are not the farmer. We do not get infinite harvesting for picking up food. It's a, uh, it's a thing. Also, I just want to say this. If you guys, um, if you guys see something that's, like, funny in a video, uh, let me know. Give me the timestamp so I can make a short of it. Upload it onto all the platforms. Um, you know, so I appreciate that. And I've, I've finally got some of my shorts coming out. I'm just really bad at getting them out because I really don't understand the algorithm for shorts and stuff. 
You know what, I'll take that. We'll have less enemies. Go for some extra damage. That's probably enough speed. I am going to take the second bow. I think the bow is going to be a pretty decent way of de dishing out some damage. Now, I don't know if I want all bows. Not sure that's what I'm looking for. Especially with the knockback on the bow being, like, a little wonky. Because it can, like, swoosh around, come hit the enemy, and then send him towards me as it has done multiple times already. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, some armor would be really tight, though. I would love to have some armor. It'd be, uh, muy bien. I don't think I've actually gotten to use this bow at all. Like, I think the one run I started using it, I, like, died really terribly and, and was super angry. Because I, like, got the bow and then immediately died. And this bow is pretty cool. So... You know, that was sad. Improve tools. There's that armor I was talking about. Fruit battery. 10% chance of picking up a consumable to summon a robot. I'm just going to say yes. Um, that doesn't seem huge. In On this run. This run, it does not seem that huge, but... I don't know. It'll be fun. I'll have a bunch of little robots, too. It'll just be silly. Like, it'll be another chance of summoning something. It'll be silly. It's interesting that they're having, like, temporary minions instead of infinite minions. Now, I do think that's a really good thing, because infinite minions would be busted. So I do think that's really good to have them be temporary. You need much weaker minions if you're going to have them be just spawn minions. Or have some other kind of, like, hard cap on it. Would really like to kill these guys. At least one of them. Where was the other one? Is he dead? Nope. I think we got him? I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I won't take that. Ooh, 9 HP. More damage against the elites. Got Horde. I'll take that damage up. I know it's not, like, the most affected. 21? I'm comfortable at 21 being my ending uh, speed. I think that's a decent speed amount. Ooh, okay. This bow is kind of, kind of making me eat shit right now. I wish it couldn't knock them into me. Because it's like piercing and then knocking them into me. So please don't knock enemies into me. It makes me sad. It hurts my feelings. I don't like having hurt feelings. I also don't like feeling pain. Please don't. It's not cash money. I appreciate things being cash money. By the way, if you guys have some extra cash money... No, I'm just kidding. I mean, you can become a member, and it helps the channel out significantly, since revenue is um, half of what it was before. Uh, I think I got the armor... Mm. Just go with the 10 harvesting, I guess. <laughs> Plus one harvesting for every 15 enemies killed. Bet. I guess that's what I should have taken. That would have been busted. Uh, with harvesting. We got lots of regen, so I'll take that. 
There we go. Yeah, dude, maybe I should retry this character out with those. Let me know if you guys would want to see that. I did read your comments. There are a couple comments about um, a new or doing a, um, a GMO run with the Beelzebub. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look at it because um, it was one arm Beelzebub and Renegade Beelzebub. I'm thinking Renegade would be better. Nah, would Renegade be better? Renegade has the lower damage, so I'm never going to get my damage up. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think... Actually, you know what? I think it's two damage downs, maybe. So that might be, like, actually, like, Giga Busted. Maybe. Oh my god, this, this stupid ghost one? Imagine... I say stupid, like I'm actually trying to insult it. I think it's a fine item. Um, imagine that. Yeah, we're probably early enough for that to matter. Uh, imagine that on the, uh, what's his face? Picking up uh, the, the farmer. Imagine using all ghost pruners on the farmer. Hello, next run already discovered all ghost on farmer. I'm looking for some giga bust. I'm, uh, I'm about to bust. I think that could be ridiculously powerful. Yeah, but it was uh, one arm and renegade with the Beelzebub. Lord of the Flies. I think it could be interesting. I'm willing to give it a look-see. Uh, but I am going to try the farmer out. With the pruner. The ghost pruner. Because that should be busted. And if you have any other runs, let me know. Um, like, I'm, I'm not going to do, like, probably not going to do, like, five of a single character in a row. Um, but I will, uh, I will absolutely try to get back to him. And if I do miss it, then you want to see a specific run, let me know again. You know, uh, just leave another comment. I'm never going to be upset at you guys leaving more comments unless I explicitly say stop it. Uh, you know, please give me a little bit of time. Don't don't message <coughs> every single one. But if you want to, um, comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. They help. Uh, they help YouTube recognize that you guys want to watch this channel, and uh, that's super cool and awesome. I always appreciate it. Um, nah, no, 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 no. Oop. Oh my God. Look at these fancy, fancy moves. Holy crap. Am I literally a God? Am I literally a God because I can circle around an enemy? Holy crap, dude. No one in human history has ever thought of that strat before. You can use it if you want, I guess. I, I give you permission. I can't see anything. I'm dying. I'm fine. Hold on, I'm dying? Never mind, I'm fine. Um, if I had, like, the explosive food, that would be good, too. It's all up to my plants. If he dies, he dies by my plants. Hey, look, he died by my plants. <laughs> I, was, I actually wasn't sure if he died or not. Oh, I also want to address something. Um, oops. Uh, no. Um, yes, Ricochet is a legendary item, and I oopsied. Yo. Alien eyes. Nah. More attack speed. Oh, 
Sure thing, buddy. That's pretty wild. I'm not really sure why all of them, uh, all the legendary ones. Like, if I could just get some, like, non-legendary weapons, like, honestly, that'd probably be a lot better. But it's, it's also really hard to complain about seeing, you know, multiple legendaries. Since there are a lot of runs that I just, I don't see, like, any legendaries. So, you know. That's a thing. There we go. Just get all the kills out. Get all the kills out of your system. Just get, all, just get all the murder out of your system. Just a little bit of murder. Rotato Soul, unique. 5% chance to summon a tier 3 current first. Unique character effect. Dude, that is awesome. That is freaking awesome. I love those kind of things in games. Where, like, there's... Yeah, I'm just gonna combine them. I was gonna sell the blue one, but... me. Dude, I love when they have, like, unique effect for enemies. Very cash money. 16, I'm sure I'll take that for almost literally no reason. Now I'm really excited to see what that does for all the different characters. Um, I don't want another bow. I, I do want enough food, like, gardens on the map. I do think the bow is probably pretty good. I do think it's probably pretty good. But we'll have to see. I'm also really glad it, it explicitly tells me what it does with a Brotato Soul. Is that a new item? I don't look up. Uh, I don't look up updates like ever. Is this is this guy like in the base game? Is this a modded character? I don't know. I ain't about to start looking things up. I did see Brotato had an update, but it also shows Brotato has an update when it's modded, and I don't, you know, look. But I really hope that's in the base game, because that would be, like, insanely awesome. And if, and if it's not, and it's in the mod, holy crap, dude, you crushed it. Like, that is freaking sweet. Take big arms. Big arms to hold me close at night. Cause that like uh dude, I, I don't know. Like I can't I can't like stress enough like how awesome I think that is. That it is just like such a fantastic item. Cause like there are a lot of characters that like you wanna see like the the effect get pushed a little bit further. And, yeah, an additional 10% chance to summon anything. And it's on the really high-ranking ones, so. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. These plant dudes just, they look so good. I think the little one and the tier 4 might be my favorites of them. Like, he's got, like, no eyeballs. <laughs> um, I'm actually concerned about crashing the game with um, projectiles flying around. Not gonna lie. I'm, I'm getting a little concerned. Uh, just go with more attack speed, I guess. Whoopsie! That's not what I wanted to do. Um... You won't even pay for yourself. I don't know why I took that. Uh, I guess more things. More things is kind of neat. So the ghost pruner. Oh, I ain't taking it. I ain't. 
taking it. Right, this is the one I'm really bad at fighting. Like, probably the one I am the worst at fighting. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'm not the worst at fighting this one. Get him, boys! Oh my god, he literally was on top of me. I forgot he charges. Dude, look at those. Look at, like, my army of bullets. They're just... They're just living their best life. I, I promise you they're living their best life. Um... It would be cool if legendary crates always were guaranteed to spawn it, but I think that's just, like, too much dumb math. But it'd be cool if they were always guaranteed, because, like, what? Oh, there's two broken. I... What's the most red crates you can have in any wave? Um... Alright, for free, I will take it. Rhino? Uh, I'll take Rhino. Retromation Jr.? He's got two items and... He's got two items. Spawns a little YouTuber that flies around you and shoots bugs at enemies. Sure, I'll, I'll take the little guy. He's my favorite Brotato guy. The sniper gun! Nope. <laughs> I'll take that now. Elemental? Oh, yeah. Really low. That's pretty cool. Honestly, I think that's a huge detriment. And I should not have taken him. But that's cool. He's in the game. Again. And I'm okay with that. Because like I said, I, he's, he's a cool dude. Alright, I'm pretty sure that that must be from the mod. Because I'm... I don't think... I don't think that, um, they would, uh, I don't think they would give him two items. Just saying, pretty sure they would not give him two items in the game. Now, maybe they might. Rito is pretty, I mean, maybe Sifties. I was trying to say, like, I, I don't actually know if Rito's the most popular person who plays Brotato. Um, actually, uh, the Spiffing Brit did a Brotato video, which is pretty awesome. It's awesome seeing, like, the larger content creators play this stuff. Because it, it, you know, it's gonna get back to the small guys, hopefully. And also, it's just gonna, like, spread the brotato -y goodness of this game. So... You know, it's good. I, I really like it, though, when um, games, like, I really enjoy and I think deserve, like, some more credit. Like, I was talking to someone, and they are like, nah, this game didn't do anything special. And I'm like, nah, dude, like, come on. Yeah, I mean, you can absolutely feel that way. Like, I'm not trying to take away anyone's feelings, but, like, even if the game didn't do anything special, like... It did it right. Cause like I really do like Vampire Survivor. I think Brotato is better than Vampire Survivor. Um, Vampire Survivor felt like a little samey. Now don't get me wrong, both fantastic games. And I know that um, Vampire Survivor has a lot of DLC. And the sheer fact that this game could be modded, I don't actually know if uh, Vampire Survivor cannot or can, but the fact that this, like, the modding community of this game has just made this game, like, a freaking whole other level. And I will judge the game based on its own merits, which, uh, like, 40 unique characters. That's pretty good. That is, um, pretty good. Okay, I didn't actually have an achievement pop, so this is a modded character. Holy shit. Dude, I literally could not tell if this was a modded character or not. I think my just become useful. Like this plant. That's pretty cool. 
And then symbiosis. Symbiosis. Harvesting every 10 harvesting you have. It's 50 harvesting. That seems pretty good, too. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for being here. I hope you enjoy. We're going to do the, the ghost pruner run. Because I think that'll be disgusting. And I'm here for it. So thank you very much. Goodbye.